Alright, hey guys, um, I'm creating this video to show you step by step how to create a music bot from scratch. Uh, you know, make it highly customizable, all in Node.js. Um, and this is just going to be showing you how to set up, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those tools set up uh, to use this. Um, first things first, uh, you need to install the text editor we're going to use. Um, I use atom.io. Uh, all these links that I send you will be in the description. But uh, this is a incredible atom. Atom is incredible. I mean, uh, it's highly customizable. There's a bunch of community packages, hundreds of them, maybe thousands. Um, that you can use and install and get yourself up and going. Um, so once you download that, I personally will be using the Atom Beta, which you can just search on Google, and I can put that in a link. Um, I'll be using this version of it, um, but you can use the regular stable version. Uh, another thing you need is you need to download Node.js, and this is assuming um, you know, I mean, this tutorial is for, you know, having a basic understanding of how Node.js works, at least, having used it before. This is not going to be entirely beginner-friendly, um, but I'll do my best to go through and try and explain um, how everything works, etc. Uh, so you need this uh, to get an NPM. Um, and that's really all you need um, to go ahead and get started. Um, now what you're going to want to do is, well, we're going to create the project first. So just find uh, a nice little place. I'm just going to be using my, my root directory here. And I'm going to do create a directory. Uh, let's call it just music bot tut. Just go in there, um, npm init, and to create everything. Name, name, ugh, music bot, touch. Uh, version 1, description, don't care. Okay, so that's all we're gonna need. Um, and now we're good to go. Uh, we just need to install the uh, node modules. Um, but before we do that, I just want to show you a proof of concept, a working proof of concept. Uh, here is a Discord that I'm in. Um, let me just undefin myself. Um, so the way it's going to be working, this version, I'll show you how to completely customize this and change this, is that uh, the admin commands requires you, this is me, to have a certain role called bot controller uh, and that works by using IDs which to get those you just right click um, get copy ID that's for individual user or you can use backslash then at then the role but this requires that you absolutely have to be able um, to at mention that role which if you go over here into roles you'll see here says allow anyone to at mention this role this needs to be enabled to uh, do this but you just type in backslash at and then the the um the name of it actually you don't even need to do the name of it yeah you do uh, and you copy this little number here uh, not including the ampersand uh, and that will allow you to grab the ID. Uh, so I'll get to that when you get to that. Um, I'll get to that when you get there. But uh, to enable this, you need to go into settings, um, appearance, and enable developer mode. And now to show you the proof of concept, uh, the, here I have the set the prefix set to dash. So we'll do dash play, and then a song name. I'll do I don't know. STFU by 
so that'll play a filthy frank and it automatically goes through YouTube and plays the link or if we want we can directly feed it a link also it has skip functionality and if there are multiple people in there um, it'll show you how many uh, things you need left and there's also admin commands like dash f skip which will force the skip if you um, have the appropriate permissions so yeah that's the stuff we need um, let me just get this out of the way uh, so the we're gonna need a couple modules npm modules and I'll put just one large um, copy and paste into the description uh, to allow you to do this but we're gonna need to install uh, discord dot js dash dash save uh, we need to do ytdl dash core uh, we need a request fs uh, get dash youtube dash id and youtube dash info uh, the youtube two youtube ones that you uh, at the end there those are just to make our lives a lot easier so yeah um, the last things we need to do is we need to grab two uh, keys uh, the first one is you can the discord bot token so we'll go to discord.gg uh, go up here to more developers my apps and create new app and this is going to be the app name we'll name this music bot tut um, description music bot click create app uh, and turn this into a bot user and there we go and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get um, a client ID a client secret uh, your username over here and then a token uh, you do not want to show anyone the client secret or the token because that will allow them to get complete control of the bot which is not what you want to do at all so I'll, I'm not gonna show you um, mine um, but that you you need to talk, copy this um, well just just keep it open for now uh, and we'll go into it later we're also gonna need access to the YouTube API so just search like YouTube API key YouTube data API overview uh, and sign up and get a API over here go through to create an API so you want to create credentials project name just no yes it may take a minute but create an API key and here is um, you want to also take this API key um, so you want to copy this and save this IPA API key um, but yeah I already have mine um, let me just yeah so I got my stuff set up so you need those two API keys um, so open up Adam I'm just gonna create a new window over here click f um, file add project folder uh, and then just find where you put that new um, project so mine's right here select folder 
And now we have this, and we're ready to go. First thing you're going to do is create a settings.json, uh, and this is where we're going to put our um, API keys. So just type in, just add the things in a JSON file. API key here. Uh, Discord underscore token. Token here. Um, bot controller. I'll understand. You'll understand what this is when we get to it. Um, but essentially, it's the backslash at the rank, the role name, and then that number minus ampersand. So role ID. Uh, and just for consistencies, uh, say we'll also put the prefix here. Mine will just be a dash. And that's all you need. I'll go ahead and fill my information here. And exit out of it. So, yeah. And then next we're going to create a new file. Uh, we'll name this index oops index dot js uh and then we're ready to go ahead and start uh programming this thing. Um so the things we need to take into account is we want on a queue. We want to be able to skip songs. Uh we need to play songs uh and we just by the name and we also need to be able to play um play the uh, songs from a direct YouTube link and those two things are actually really closely together so you'd be surprised how um, easy that'll be uh, and we also uh, need to have like chat moderation kind of stuff so I'll be also going to that uh, one thing I forgot to mention in my bot um, is we have several things set up where we have a link spam. Um, so say, and we also have it so you can't type in any um, any Discord link. So say you have a Discord invite link, blah blah blah. It'll automatically remove it and send you a warning message. Or if you send a like a, a YouTube link that's not in the link spam. Um, it'll automatically delete it and bring it over here into the link spam, which I will go into as well. So to start off, um, to start off creating this, we are going to need to use several, uh, or import the require as it is the module. So we're just going to do discord, uh, require the discord.js. Also, um, we're also going to need to get the client from this, so this will grab the Discord client. Uh, we also need to allow to YouTube download, so I'll just name it ytdl dash nothing. <laughs> I'll just do ytdl, it makes it simpler. Require. I can't type today. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, YTDL dash core constant request equals require request constant FS equals require FS constant get YouTube ID is require get dash YouTube dash ID constant fetch video info is require YouTube dash info now all this does is a handy little function that just takes a YouTube link and it finds the ID from it. 
and then this module uh, just goes and fetches all the metadata. <laughs> Excuse me, all the metadata from a file, or from a uh, YouTube video. Idea. So, first things first, we're going to want to parse the config and get the things that we're going to need from it. So we're going to do var config, and the reason this is not going to be constant because we're also going to um, allow, if you want, to create things um, like blacklists or stuff that from Discord, inside Discord, if you have the correct permissions. Uh, so we can uh, change it and then save it afterwards. So that equals JSON, and we're going to parse what we're about to do, and we're going to do fs dot read file sync dot forward slash settings dot JSON just to get this file over here. Comma. After that, uh, I'm just going to use encoding UTF-8 because if you don't, otherwise it'll miss correctly read it and it'll just do the hex and it gets messy and it's not good. Uh, another thing is also Node.js is a synchronous language, meaning that if one thing takes too much time, it'll automatically move down. So it's not linear. Uh, the reason we're using fs.readfilesync is because it allows us to um, do this next portion of the code a lot easier um, and also um, because you know it's since it'll be make the next portion of the code easier and the fact of the matter is we can't run uh, the bot until it does it anyways uh, it's just easier to do this although you would usually want to use just read file which is an asynchronous and has callbacks Again, uh, I'm assuming that you already know this stuff, but if you don't, um, I suggest you do some Node.js. Uh, so anyways, moving on, we want to grab the API key. So we're going to just do config.youtube underscore API key, constant uh, bot underscore controller. And just getting all the stuff that we need. Hang that prefix constant discard token equals So we just have all these things accessible and it's great. Um so yeah. Uh first thing we want to do is we want to log the Discord client in. So we'll do client dot login uh, and this is where we want to feed in the Discord token, and um, which will allow us to get logged in, start making API requests, and this is why we need to turn it into a bot, uh, so we get that Discord token. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to check to make sure the body's uh, the the bot, my bad, is ready. So we'll do client dot on ready uh, and since it's asynchronous uh, it's got a callback uh, and we'll just log uh, ready I am ready ooh there we go so now we the bot know the bot's ready let's go ahead and test this just do one thing node index.js and can't find module you get just YouTube dash ID. Um, that means it's just not installed. So npm install dash to save. I won't bother. Yeah, dash YouTube dash ID. Let's just install it. Or this. It's lovely. Okay, now let's try it. And that was just my misspelling. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfectly working. Um, and it says, I am ready. So that means we're connected. Uh, and we can go ahead and 
uh, start coding some more. So, I like to put this at the bottom because it's just easier for me. Um, so, what we want to do is we want to have it set so that when the user types in a message on the Discord, it will join and start playing the music, or it'll check for the conditions we state and either delete the message or send it to the link spam. Um, since this is mainly just for the music bot, I'll do the link spam and the automatic removing of the uh, Discord.gg and uh, an extension video. Uh, so right now, we'll just check for the um, playing functionality. Um, so what we want to do is first we want to grab it to see if the user sends a message. So it's the same thing, client.on uh, message function, except we have message and I don't group that up. So now we have access to message which has a whole slew of things. Um, and since discord.js is object oriented, it has functions and properties that we can access. Um, and if you're ever in trouble, you can go to discord.js.org, go to documentation, and let's try this again. Yep, uh, and you get all the classes, and you can go through here. Here's message, and look, all the properties, all the methods. Um, you can go through here, all descriptions, what they return, how to use them. It's a very excellent documentation. <laughs> also, um, also in Discord, they have a Discord.js official server where you can come over here and support uh, our new lib questions. Or they also have a Discord API for all the Discord API services they have. And over here in js underscore discord dash js, you can get a bunch of help here. I know I've used this numerous times, um, but it's truly great. Um, so yeah. Also, while we're at it, I'll create a music bot test server. I'll just do this. Uh, unmute myself. And again, we're going to do the uh, roles, so we might as well do this now, create the new role, bot, controller, you can put whatever name you want, doesn't matter, um, and we just need this value. Save. And we'll give myself that role, and we want to go ahead and make sure that we can grab that role. So set it so yep, okay good. We'll do backslash at bot controller. And we want to grab this value, the numbers after the ampersand. And go ahead and put this value into your settings uh, JSON. Let's open this back up. I'll go do that real quick, but I got sensitive info in there. Okay, perfect. So now we have that all set up. Um, so what we need to do next uh, is go ahead and enable it to play. Um, so the way we're going to do that is uh, check if the message starts with the prefix plus a certain message. So we're going to do if message actually what we're going to do first is we're going to create a couple of shortcuts that make it easier uh, constant member equals message dot member uh, constant mess equals message dot content dot to lower case and that allows us to more accurately check uh, and constant args equals message dot content dot split um, let's split it with space dot slice one dot join space and this will grab everything after the initial command uh, and we're going to need this so back down to actually uh, checking if it's music now we'll do if 
the mess dot starts with and we want to see if it starts with the prefix plus play uh, and uh, if it does we want to um, go ahead and join the uh, join the video or uh, not the video go ahead and join the channel um, but we're also going to be having a queue so we need to get the queue system go ahead and have a base so over here we'll do var queue and we'll just set this up with a simple array and this array will hold the ID values of the um, values we also need um, a couple other placeholder values like is playing um, set this to false at first uh, this will allow us to determine whether bot is playing and if we need to put it into a queue or if we go ahead and start um, start playing the song immediately because if you don't have this um, everything will be added to queue and uh, it'll never start playing um, we also need dispatcher Uh, set that to null at first. The dispatcher is the um, will allow us to pause and play and control the music bot outside of the message command. Um, we need also the voice channel that the bot is in. Uh, we need skip request because we're adding skipping in. Set that equal to zero, and we don't want anyone to be able to. Uh, continually um, create skip requests. So we'll create an array called skippers which will put the author ID in. Um, so yeah. Uh, we also need to create some functions that will allow us to uh, make our live a lot easier. Um, so for starters uh, we want to get the YouTube video ID and we also want to check whether or not the string or the args are a, vi um, a YouTube ID. So we'll do first create a function is YouTube. I'll we'll pass that a string uh, and we will return whether or not the string dot index of or actually my bad string dot to lowercase dot index of youtube.com is greater than negative one. Oops. Uh, now that we have this, we can um, do get ID of the video and also search for the ID. Uh, one thing we want to do is we need to go ahead and search for the video IDs off of YouTube if it's not a YouTube ID. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of copy and pasting here because this is a block of text. Um, and also I will put everything on here onto a public GitHub that you can go through to just to copy off of and I'll put all these copy paste codes that you can use. Um, online but all this is doing is using the request module for the Google API for for YouTube's API plus encoding um, the query which we will pass and using our API key to respond with a uh, couple of YouTube IDs and we are just grabbing the first item um, with the ID and the video ID, then getting the video ID from the ID uh, that's all that we're doing. Uh, it's very easy. Um, and yeah. Now that we have the v ability to search for videos, we can get the, I the ID from it. So we'll do function, create, get ID, pass in a string, and then also have a callback. Uh, we want to check if the string is YouTube. If is YouTube. Sorry, I can't type today. It's YouTube string. Then we want to go ahead and call back get YouTube ID of the string. 
instead of creating our own kind of regex to grab that value, we can just use this little command, which is why we installed the module. Uh, if it's not, otherwise, we want to search for the video. Uh, we want to search for string, uh, and it will return the ID. Uh, and then we want to call back the ID returned. Uh, so that will return the ID. And it's using callbacks, which is great in Node. Gotta love them. They're also a pain. But this is to avoid doing callback hell. Um, yeah. Um, and since once we have those IDs, we also want the ability to add them to a queue. Um, so yeah. So for that, we will do function add underscore to underscore q, um, and we want to pass in the string id, um, and we are just going to pass in, and we're going to push into q, so it adds at the end, q dot push, whoops, push, get id, Actually, no, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to test if the value is YouTube. If the link is YouTube. Uh, just, just to make sure, we're going to push in. Q to push. Uh, get ID. Uh, so we'll push and get the ID of um, string ID. Just kidding. That requires callback. Uh, we'll just use get YouTube ID of string ID. And if it's not a YouTube video, then we'll just go ahead and straight up push the ID. And that's all we need, I believe. Yeah. Um, so now we want to go back up into the play, play functionality. And, and uh, we want to go ahead and test if the queue length is greater than zero, or if it's playing, it's currently playing. Um, and if it is, then we will add to queue the um, the song. If it's not, we will immediately play the view. So to go ahead and check if uh, we'll just check the queue length and see if that's greater than zero, or excuse me, or if is playing. Um, and if it is, we'll go ahead and do get the ID of um, args and we'll do function it will return the ID uh, and we'll add to Q that ID and again don't forget um, you know this kind of part is probably a little bit redundant but it is just for um, the verification sake um, the way I like to the code is um is to just always plan for the worst um and just put in those checks so even if they don't happen you always have a backup if for something something breaks you have a backup that could hopefully fix it um so yeah uh so that we're gonna add to queue that id uh and then we also want to return a message saying hey this video title was added to queue so this is what the fetch video info is for ID. Uh, it will. It has the error first notation. So we'll do video info, and we'll just do um, if the error. Throw new error. Error. 
otherwise we want to reply to the message again one of the functions according to the discord uh, API for message is reply so we'll just reply to it whoops reply um, the space now playing star star and this will bold it's into it it's part of the um, the markup for the discord which I'll put a link up to a short and all that stuff for it in the description but we'll just grab the title plus star star um, and yeah that's all we need uh, and that should be good to go for uh, adding to the queue part now we want to know uh, if it's if it's not already playing or the queue is greater than zero we want to go ahead and immediately start playing it so we'll do set is playing to now equals true uh, we want to go ahead and get the ID of the args and do almost what we did before. Um, uh, and now we want to this may uh, go ahead and push to the queue the, the stuff. Uh, this may be, may seem a little strange right here, but we're going to push into the queue a placeholder. Uh, and then you'll see why once we set up the play music function, uh, to go ahead and play the music. But essentially, what this does is um, is it creates a placeholder for the song because if we go up here, it checks the length is greater than zero or is playing. Um, and then also down once we get into the play the music function, uh, it does some other checks with the queue. Um, and so uh, we just need that to prevent any errors and create make sure the bot plays uh, smoothly. I'll I'll explain more about why we need it once we get down to it. Uh, but we also uh, so we want to do play music, <laughs> play music. Uh, we want to pass it the ID and message, and we'll create this in a second. And then just once again, we'll do the fetch the ID. We could do um. Now we do the now playing and change the queue to added to queue colon and then now playing colon. You can set these whatever you like, but this is just what I'm going to have it as. So now we need to go ahead and create the uh, play music function, uh, and this is where we actually create um, the dispatcher and the voice channel part command command. So do function play music. ID and message. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to grab the voice channel and dot member dot voice channel. Uh, this will allow us to join it. So again, uh, according to the Discord API, we can join off of this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to voice channel dot join. Uh, dot then and the reason we're using dot then is because discord.js is built entirely off of promises um, so we just have to use promise stuff um, so we're going to do that then it'll pass a function and we will get connection uh, returned uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab the video that we're going to be playing uh, and we're going to turn it into a stream because the dispatcher uh, which is what's going to be playing the music uh, allows us to play the stream off of the connection so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be creating the stream stream equals uh, and this is where the YTDL YouTube download dash core comes into place uh, and we're just going to Apparently, I can't do anything today. Uh, we're going to put in HTTPS slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals plus ID. And this just creates the YouTube string ID that will allow us to um, play and filter 
actually then it creates JSON and we want to go ahead and do filter do audio only uh, and this will help reduce latency and allow it to be better quality and uh, and stuff so we'll do that we also um, want to now do skip request and set that to zero and then also reset skippers um, just set that to null uh, and this will allow us so that you know people can go ahead and skip again this song because we want it to reset every single song that goes through uh, and since this will be called every single time the uh, it, it'll play music every every new song the way we have it set up currently uh, it'll be fine and now this is where we set the dispatcher and we just want this to set this equal to the connection dot play stream stream uh, and now it will it should play the song in our discord um, so you can go ahead and test this out and see if everything works properly known index.js And uh, we're waiting for the I am ready message to know that the client has connected and it's good to go. Sometimes it takes a little while. There we go. Now we can come in here um, and just wait a second because we have to um, add the, the bot to our uh, server. <laughs> Discord.g. So go back to the developers. More developers. My apps. Music bot. Grab the client ID. Uh, and we need to add it to the um, to the server. So we go to the link. Um, I'll put this link in the description below. But you essentially where it says client ID, you want to paste that client ID you got from over here and paste it into this link. This will allow us to uh, bring it into the server. So you need to be logged in, uh, bring it over to the server, um, and we can set this permissions equal to zero. That just allows us to get other permissions for it. <laughs> but I'll just authorize this and now as you can see the music bot will be in the server so let's just go ahead and restart the music bot and it should come online I don't know why it's not let's just see if it'll be able to successfully play music I don't know Xeno For some reason, it's not coming online. Oh, I know why it's not coming online. Uh, it's because I didn't properly set my uh, Discord Discord token. So let me go ahead and do that real quickly. So let me copy that entire token. and not replace this okay now it should work so let's test this I'm ready and there we go as you can see he's online and he's connected play Xeno and it did not work because message is not defined. Line 61. Oh, my bad. Simple misspelling. As you can tell, I'm probably going <laughs> kind of off book, semi off book. I have a. Uh... So, yeah, this is difficult. Alright, dash play casino. And you can see he joins now playing uh, the video it searched and it should start playing 
couldn't find an opus engine. Okay, so that's easy to fix. That means we just do npm install node-opus. Um, let's do that and install that. And it failed, so we'll just do instead npm install opus script. <laughs> Node opus is supposed to be better, but apparently uh, it doesn't want to work properly. So now that we have that installed, now let's try to do it. Dash play Xeno. Check the console. We might have done it too soon. Now I just wanted to do it. Let's just try to read. Couldn't find an opus script. Okay. I'm back. Um, so what I did was I reinstalled npm just to be safe. And then I ran um, npm install discord.js opus script dash dash save again. And I kept... I you know, just kind of, and I kept doing this, and uh, it seemed to have fixed the issue. So, yeah, I don't know why that is. It just is. So now, let's go back in here and test. Play this, you know. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, and what do you know? Up? It uh, works. Yeah, I just wanted to take a second to uh, kind of go over the trailer. And the and the reason it probably didn't work is because inside our... Um, Instead of our music bot, it's not the right music bot. Inside of our uh, our music bot here, oops. Um, we have the node modules installed, and I, it was just something wrong with that. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it works. Um, it plays the music just fine without yo, yo, throwing yo, any errors. Hey uh, so yeah, we already have it. Um, playing YouTube videos and everything. Uh, so now we just need to add the other queue functionality and so that it'll play when it's done. Um, and so what we can do here is Dispatcher has their own events as you can, as you will see on the Discord JS. Yeah. So we can go to, and the way you can find it is you can either just come to Dispatcher, um, finding that, or, um, what you can do is you can also do um, go in here to voice channel. Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, do join and promise it returns a promise voice connection, uh, and you can do play stream and it's return stream dispatcher. And here you can find all the stuff. And as you can see here, we have events. Perfect. So we come over here. Um, and we will use the dispatcher dot on end event, uh, and it won't pass anything. Uh, so again, here we just want to make sure we just double check, set the skip requests equal to zero, and do the skippers equal to um, no. Uh, we want to queue. We want to pop the first one out, and this is why we want to pop the first one out. Uh, it's uh, this is why what the placeholder means is because um, if we don't have the placeholder, uh, it it causes a lot of errors. If uh, we want to check to see if the queue um, length zero, if it is, just again double check, make sure. Um, Q is working fine, and then also set to is playing to false. Uh, otherwise, we want to play music. Q at the new value zero, which will be the next song, and then if you just want to repass message into it, so you can do the same thing, uh, and it's kind of recursive. So yeah, um, that works pretty well. Um, this will this isn't for a, a full thing music bot. Uh, make a note that it will only work in one server at a time. Um, 
and this is just supposed to be a custom music bot for your server only. Make sure you know that. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to add uh, skip functionality. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do um, a skip song function just above play music. Function skip underscore song song song. Uh, we want to pass the message um, and we'll want to end the current dispatcher. Um, we want to check if the queue length is greater than one, uh, so we know that there's something to skip to. Uh, and if there is, then we want to pass the uh, current song because remember it will automatically uh, when it ends automatically cause the skip functionality. Well, not cause the skip functionality, but automatically pop the first one off because um, this calls this function here does call the uh, the dot end, not the dot end. Um, it calls the end event. Uh, and then also we want to set the skip request to go to zero again. You know, just double checking. Make sure everything fires properly. Uh, and yeah, for skip song, that's all we need. Next thing we know, want to do is we want to make it so that the people can actually skip the song. Um, so we're gonna add another <laughs> command down here. Uh, we'll do else if uh, mess dot starts with prefix plus. Um, you want to check if, um, <coughs> we want to, uh, check the amount of people that have done it and, uh, make sure that they're not in the, uh, queue again. So, to do this, we're just going to check if the, um, skippers dot index of message dot author dot id equals negative one. Then we want to push, we want to put them into there. <laughs> and then we want to um, increase the skip request amount. Uh, and then we want to check to see if the enough people have done it. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to take the member people in the current voice channel, minus one to account for the bot, and then divide that by two, and we're going to seal that number because it'll end up being a decimal. Like, you can't have 2.5 people doing it. Um, we can avoid doing math.seal because um, skip request is an integer, so you have to have more people than that um, decimal value, but it'll just make it a lot cleaner and... Uh, and stuff. <laughs> but again, then again, it's up to you. Um, but I just prefer using math.seal. Again, um, it's just the way it clicks in my mind, but it's not necessary. But it does make it look nicer for if we do the, um, when we do the reply message. Um, so let's go ahead and check for that. If the skip request is greater than or equal to the amount we need, which will just be math dot, again, I'm going to use it, um, voice channel, which is why we needed the voice channel thing, dot member, members dot size minus one, make sure we count for that bot, divided by two, um, then we will do, we will skip the song, for song, message uh, and we'll send them a nice uh, message saying reply um, your skip has been acknowledged I cannot spell skipping now uh, otherwise we want to uh, send them a message Um, oops. You're, you can just copy this part. 
actually. And then you, you need and we'll bold it. Don't forget those semicolons. Um, you need then the math dot seal thing again, and again we can just copy this. Uh, and we will subtract the skip request amount of it. Minus skip requests plus star star more skip votes. Uh, and again, and then we just want to check if they are in there. Then we'll send them another message. Message dot reply. Send them um, you already voted to skip. Um, and yeah, and uh, so that's all we need. That should uh, start doing <laughs> skips. So we can just check it out real quick. Go into Discord, do dash play. 10 second funny clip 10 second funny video so she start playing <coughs> oh. turn my audio down <laughs> so that clip's now over and then she should start playing the next song which in this case is the storm blood warrior in depth speculation and thoughts Which is not. Let me make sure we did this completely right. Let's check. Skip song. Um, yeah. About play music. This looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Play dot on end. Yep. Skippers. Oh, that's why I actually Q dot shit. <laughs> it should be Q dot shift. <laughs> let's let's try this again. <laughs> Ten second. Funny. Clip. Sorry for the loud noise. <laughs> Oof. But now it should start playing the next thing. Yo, yo, yo. And there we go. Uh, now let's test uh, out yeah, the skip functionality. To, uh, so so I'm the only one in here. It should automatically do it. But then that's good because then it will it'll automatically do the other thing too. And um, and I've tested that functionality work. I use that on my own private bot. So I know that will other functionality will work. Um, so perfect. Now we're almost done. Now what we want to do is we want to add the administrative um, options, um, but I'll do that next video since this video is already long enough. Uh, I hope this video is extremely instructional for you and it goes over everything that you need, um, and it's more than you know anything that you need. All right, um, <coughs> I'm kind of a doofus, and this is uh, after reviewing uh, me. But I forgot to put in uh, the fact to ch the check that the user who activates the play command is already in a um, is already in a voice channel because if you execute this as it is and they're not in a, vis um, a voice channel, it will wreck, crash, and burn. So right underneath the play thing, we're just going to want to add a, another check statement to see if the member member dot voice channel or we want to check that the client is already in the voice channel. And we can actually just achieve this by is playing. Actually, because uh, it could be not playing in the thing. So we'll just do the client, or the, which is the bot, dot guilds, dot get. 
and we can find this by going into here clicking on um, this and copying ID dot get and then just pasting that ID dot voice connection does not equal null and we'll just wrap this around all of that and beautify this uh, and if it is null or they're not a thing we will reply message dot reply you need to be in a voice channel uh, and sorry about the background noise my uh, sister turned the TV on and she just came in here for a second so uh, now this is all you need so thank you for watching please like comment and survive subscribe <laughs> please survive um, and I uh, hope I'll see you in the next video where I'll go over adding chat commands and chat moderation as along with uh, other commands like uh, the queue or adding a blacklist for the music bot but right now we just have the bare functionality for the music bot the basic music bot so all right one more thing after doing some more extensive testing after uh, it finished uh, you know just to see around make sure it was absolutely bug free there was one more bug um, and it was with the skip song functionality so the way it's set up here is that if you just skip a song it'll go through and um, skip multiple songs all the way in fact to the last song in the queue and the easy easiest way to fix this that I've found so far I've done more testing and it works uh, and it's just to delete this and just leave it at dispatcher.n so yeah uh, as far as I know, this is completely working. If you find any bugs or anything with this code, and I will put this in a paste bin, and I'll put that in the description. But I highly, 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 highly hope that you don't just copy-paste it and try and run it. Because that's a train wreck that can happen, and you don't learn anything from it, and this is supposed to be an educational video. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Um, I know it was long. <laughs> probably what around an hour and five minutes by now um, looking at my timer and adding um, but I really hope that this helped you and can be used as a resource um, it will soon be uploading the, the future as soon as I uh, turn this in because I actually also use this as my computer science final grade uh, it was just to learn something new and I decided to write a music button so thank you for uh, and I'll See you guys later.